夢にまで見たような世界で争いもなく平和に暮らしたい」It's very, it's kind of awkward to use, but I like using it for、um, backgrounds. For my awesome sketches. And, anyways, pencil tool. Guess what you do with this one? You can draw. Most people, they use the pencil tool for sketches. Most of the time, just sketch, and then they go over it with.、Um, Pen tool or the outline tool, either one. But I don't outline on here. The brush is tool. Call it the brush tool. It's really the paintbrush tool. But, anyways, I have many, a many, of many brushes. I have blood brushes, blood splats, different kinds of blood splats. I like that kind of stuff. Not misery or anything, but. It looks cool.、Um, I have shout boxes too. I have、um, hello, and I don't think you can see that. Hello and stuff. It's really quite cool, in my opinion. I have snowflakes, pretty snowflakes. Whoa, big snowflakes.、Um, I have glitter, and, and I have cats. Cats, look at the pretty kitty. Cats everywhere.、Um, different kinds of cats. I have cat eyes, which you'd think is kind of strange. Very strange. But this actually comes in handy. And my all famous kanji. I love Japanese. I love anime. I love manga. I love anything Japanese. So I have kanji brushes. Very, very awesome to use. For backgrounds, I use these for, back, for backgrounds, for backdrops. Basically, that's what I do.、Um, I also have normal fonts on my fit. Brushes, I mean.、Um, I have paw prints. Very random, but I have paw prints. Very different paw prints, indeed. They come in handy too. And hey, look, a shuriken. Yeah, it's not small. Big, bigger shuriken.、Um, let's see what else I do. I have glitter. Glitter. That doesn't really look like glitter, but it is.、Um, see? Glitter, glitter. I also. Have flowers. This is my last one, so if I'm getting annoying, it's really, really big.、Um, flowers. Really, really pretty. I like the border. I'll show you the border. This, I use this all the time in my drawings. You can ask my friends. Right there. Boom. That's pretty as crap. Just Flowers. I love this flower. It's really pretty. Look at it. A lot of things you can have on here. You can have、um, paint brushes. What I mean by paint brushes is that it looks like it has been sprayed from a paint can. It's really neat. Really awesome. <laughs> I can't believe that Axel is a brush. But, anyways, onwards to back on topic. Eraser tool. This is very. Very simple. I don't see why anyone couldn't understand what the eraser tool is. Basically, erase. Erase all your mistakes. Erase anything you don't want. Erase it. You have it.、Um, airbrush. Airbrush, not dark, really light. Some people, they use this a lot for background. I don't in particularly, but I know a lot of people do. 
ink tool. Very, very simple to use the ink. Just right there, ink. You can make it duller. Look. The size. Look at that. Look how fancy that is. Very, very fan fancy. Um, the opacity, I don't Very, very pretty. Alright. Clone tool. This is a very strange, strange tool. Basically what it is. Wherever this circle with the plus sign in it is. Whatever you color over, that will be there. See, look. I am coloring, recoloring Axel's face onto Axel. Because wherever the plus in the circle goes is what you're painting. So you have to be careful on that, because like most people use it on patterns, and then once they get it over an object, they're like, oh shoot. And then I'm like, I told you so. And whatever it goes over, it paints. So you have to be like super, just uber careful. Alright, the heel tool. Don't really know what it does. I'm not quite sure. I've never used this before. I think what it does is it just like makes a fuzzy area around like it does in the clone tool. Not sure really. Anyway. This is basically I don't know what this is. It does things. <laughs> Okay, blur slash sharpen tool. This is my friend. It blurs it. Then it can sharpen it. You can see that. See? See the eye? It's getting really, really sharp and right around the edges with my clip on. Basically, typically, burn, sharpen. Blur, sharpen, like that. This is a smudge tool. It smudges, like, really, really badly. Most people, when they're doing their, um, sketches, they usually use the smudge tool instead of the burn tool to blur their, uh, you know, shadows and highlights and stuff. No, because this smears the whole entire thing. It will be super bad, turn out awful. Not really pretty fat when you get it done. Burn and dodge tool. Dodge highlights. Highlight it. Highlight it. Highlight it. But it's way better when you put it on highlights. Because it goes actual highlight. Sort of, kind of. But not all too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burn tool. Put it on shadows. Shadows it. But the thing is, you don't want to go over it twice or else it'll do that. And the thing is, if you keep going over it, it'll turn out like this. Looks like he has a cigarette mark on his forehead. Poor Axel. So you wouldn't want to keep doing that. And then 